Hello, welcome back to my channel. I decided to do something a bit different today, something that I've not done before, and I wanted to do um, my everyday makeup video. But I wanted to do a chatty one because I've never done a chatty video before, so I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, whether I'm gonna even be able to use it. Also, we have Storm Doris, who has presented herself today, so it's extremely windy outside, so yet again, I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to use this because I don't know if all you're gonna be able to hear is wind. I need to do my makeup anyway. Let's have a little chat while I do it. Don't know what I'm gonna talk about, probably a load of crap that you're not gonna be interested in, but why not? I did my hair a bit different today. You probably can't even tell, but I did like ringlets underneath and then my normal like beachy wave things on top, but you probably can't even tell. First of all, I start with a primer. I normally am really bad at primers and I don't really use them, but I decided I need to start using one. My skin got, was getting really, really like ridiculously dry. So I was like, I need to start using a primer again. And this is the two in one. This is the Nivea Daily Essentials Express Hydration Primer. And I really liked it when I used it before. So got it again and I'm gonna use it again. I just like to like pat it around my face, on my nose, on my forehead, get your hair out of the way and then just kind of rub it in like that. So I don't use too much, I don't use a lot. Um, it soaks in really quickly. Also, I love the smell of um, Nivea products. My skin's really sensitive, by the way. That is why I go red here. Whenever I touch my skin, it just goes red there. So, ignore that. I'm using natural light. I'm also using my G7X, which brightens things so much better than my Canon um, 600D. That's what I'm trying to say. So, it's a bit brighter, but I've also got my mirror light on as well. Yeah, I need to get a lip balm. Hold up. I'm gonna use the Burt's Bees lip balm in Replenishing Lip Balm. It's pomegranate? Yeah, pomegranate oil. I really like this lip balm. It smells really good. I'm all about smells with things. I love it when I use a product that smells really good. Next, I am using the NYX HD Studio Concealer. This color is slightly too dark for me and it's a bit too pink, but it works really well for me just under my eyes, like correcting the dark circles that I get under my eyes. But it, yeah, the colour correction on it is really good for my dark circles, but the colour itself is slightly too dark, but you can't really tell underneath my foundation. So I just pat that in all the way around my eye. There you go. It's not heavy coverage whatsoever, but it just under my foundation helps to like brighten up my under eyes. The foundation that I'm using is my Revlon Colorstay, was in my favourites video. I love this foundation. I've got the shade 110 Ivory and it's the normal to dry skin one. However, I feel like I'd use like a pump and a half and I just put it on my hand like that. I feel like I'm gonna buy it again, but I might get that one for oily skin just to see the difference. Cause at the moment, I literally can't decide what skin type I am. Sometimes I'm ridiculously dry, sometimes I'm really shiny and oily. So I'm like, should I mix the two together? Will that be like my perfect foundation? Who knows, that could get expensive though. Blenderton, let's move the hair out of the way, shall we? And blend. Blend, 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 blend. Also, does anyone else have any trouble with foundation on their nose? My foundation on my nose, as soon as I put it on, starts to crack. So annoying, drives me crazy. Then I got onto my eyebrows, and this is a product that I have used ever since I started YouTube. It is the Isla Eyebrow Pencil. I literally can't even read it anymore. I've, I think I've literally had this since before I started doing YouTube. So that's nearly a year and a half, two, no, that's two years ago. My channel is two years old, two and a half years old. And yeah, I still got all of this, so. But I just brush through my eyebrows, plain and simple. I don't do anything fancy with my eyebrows. I have no skills when it comes to doing eyebrows. So I don't try to pretend and I just do what I can and fill in the gaps. Can you hear the wind? <laughs> Also, my eyebrows never match, like ever, ever. It's very frustrating. I wish I had eyebrow skills. I wish I could make them look like precise and really like clean, but I just can't. I just don't have that talent. And I've just put my nails all in my foundation. 
you'll have to blend that out again, won't you? That's the only thing, actually, while we're on that point, that I found about the Revlon. It takes a little while to kind of dry and set into the skin. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Yeah, see? Odd eyebrows. This one always comes out thicker and this one always comes out slightly higher. Then I... What do I do next? Why is it whenever you like film your makeup, you're like, how do I do it? What do I do now? I can never remember. I go in with a little bit of powder now. This is the Stay Matte Powder by Rimmel, I think. My memory is not great right now. Um, instead of sweeping it though, I need to blend around there a little bit more. I've got dry patches on my skin today. I picked a really good day to film me doing my makeup. I kind of pat it around rather than swooping. Look at that bag. Look at that. I didn't sleep very well last night. Then I go in with eyeshadow and I'm using two of my favourite NYX eyeshadows. I'm going to go in on the lid with Innocent with a flat brush. I recently have can be, have convened, that's good English, have been completely and utterly obsessed with orange eyeshadow and like bronze, bronze eyeshadow and eyes so that's what I'm doing today it is what I have been wearing so much recently if you watch the vlog you will know that I'm obsessed with it I just absolutely love how it looks on blue eyes and um, it just makes them so bright and like enhances the blue of them so I've just been working that and also when I had my hair disaster when it went orange it kind of worked with that as well because I coordinated then I'm taking Showgirl with like a soft definer. This is the the Zoeva 227 soft definer brush. I literally tap it in like three or four times, that's it. And I build it. I start very light and I build it. Otherwise you can get quite an extreme colour from these eyeshadows. So I just take it over the crease really, really lightly. I'm going to soften it a little bit because that is quite harsh with this brush with nothing on it I'm just going to go over it. This is the, actually the crease brush, it's probably the one I should have used but I prefer to use the um, other one just to blend that harsher line. Then I take my flat brush again. This is completely not any skill at all and this is just how I found that I like to do it and how it turns out there. All the lights just got really bright. Now I can't see what I'm doing. The one time that I really want a cloud to go over the sun. Oh, thanks! Uh, oh, I didn't even tell you what I'm doing. I'm taking Skimp from the Naked Basics palette 2 and putting it under my eyebrow. Again, I find this softens the um, colour, like the lines a lot better. Just to blend it out a little bit and also it just adds a little bit of highlight under the, under the eyebrow. And then if I don't like how much I've taken off, I just go back in with that one. And that is it. Then I like to take the Last Imperfections concealer and to just dab it along the line here. To create a straight line for my eyeshadow that I've just done. Because I always go over. Always, always. I was gonna actually try the like tape trick. Have you ever used that where you put like tape under your eye like this so you can't go over? But I just haven't got around to trying that yet. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm gonna get a tiny bit of my heat chaleur, which is like a darker colour on the crease brush, like the smallest amount. And just literally take it in my crease just to darken my crease a bit. I might regret this, but we'll see. Literally just like that much. I, hope, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. This is also kind of what I do with makeup, is I just kind of wing it and hope that it looks good at the end, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Then with a angled brush, I usually take Showgirl again and go under my eye. Really thin, but quite a defined matte colour. Just kind of 
wing it slightly up. Oh, there's stuff flying about outside now. Um, and then I just soften that line with McCree's brush, which has the darker colour in it. This lighting's doing my skin no justice. <laughs> I feel like it looks much better in real life. Right, then I like to go in with my bronzer. The one that I've got today is a Kiko. I don't know if they still do it again. I've had this such a long time. But it's the Precious Illuminating Bronzer and it's got like the brown, different brown tones, beiges and the purple in it. And I just take the blush brush from Real Techniques, whiz it around in there and then just use it on my cheekbones and my forehead. Really badly, again. <laughs> I'm definitely getting a cold. Apologies for the sniffing. And then I've just blended it out until I'm happy with how it looks. This is probably the worst brush to use for this. I just like the size of it. And it's just, it's too big for me to use for um, blush, because, I mean, little face, big brush. There's that. I don't use a lot, but just enough, just to enhance. Enhance. Then, where has one's blush gone? So I'm here. I appear to have lost my MAC blush that I was going to use, that I really like to use. So I'm going to have to use a really old one from e.l.f. in... Glow D25? I have no idea. My camera is going to turn off. Told ya. <laughs> um, yeah, take the smallest amount. Ta da! And just like gently. Yeah, that's cheap then. Especially with this one. This one's so pigmented. Unreal. Then it's time for the item that changes my face the most mascara. Literally, I look completely different once I put mascara on. This is the Arbon. It's a long story mascara. This is my favourite mascara ever since I got it. It has lash like enhancer and conditioner in it and my lashes have grown in immensely since I started to use this. So highly recommend this to absolutely everyone and yeah. I will try and link everything that I've used down below by the way if they still exist or I'll link what I actually wanted to use but couldn't find like the blush, because there's no way they do this anymore because I've had that years. Right, mascara. Curl my lashes with the worst eyelash curlers I have ever purchased. I believe they were from Revlon. Does it say? Yes, Revlon. I don't like them, but they do enough. And here come the cool mascara faces, enjoy. While I think of it as well with mascara, who also struggles with not getting mascara on their lash, on their lash line? And that's what you want, love on your eyeshadow. Daily struggle for me, I really struggle. And I think it's just because my lashes are so long. Whatever I do, they touch my eyelid and it just drives me insane. Can you even see what I'm doing? No. Look, I would like tilt my mirror up. Tilt the mirror up so that I'm like looking down. Like that. So you can already see how much mascara transforms my eyes. It just makes them look so much bigger and open. I think it's because my lashes are so fair when I haven't got anything on them, they literally just look like they have no hair. <laughs> also, who always gets mascara on their nose? I always get mascara on my nose. Like a little blob. First coat done. I'm a big fan of like proper doll lashes, like spider lashes. Not cakey, but um, at least I hope they don't look cakey. But I like them to be really defined. So I go in again, but I kind of put the brush like this and go up the lash just to make sure the end is properly coated and there is like, look as long as they can. There you go, you can see them building. What I like to do as well is I really like the brush on the Max Factor False Lash Effect. This is a really old mascara, there is no mascara in it, but I love the brush and how it separates my lashes more, so I always go in with this after applying my mascara, just to separate my lashes a bit more. Can you see all the mascara on my eyelids? Fear not, I will fix it. This is what takes the most time for me with my makeup. It's definitely my mascara, without a doubt. Or it's just what I'm like most fussy and picky about. I'm gonna sneeze. Why does this always happen? Please don't sneeze. Don't sneeze. And then to get rid of the mascara on top, 
I take my crease brush with like, obviously it's got my crease colour in it, and I literally just kind of go over it and it brings up the mascara, but you have to let it dry to be able to do that, otherwise you're just going to smudge black all over your eyelid. But I have found that this technique works wonders, and it gets it off. See? It's soft. Okay, and then I go on to my lips, which is the liquid suede um, lip stick that I'm going to use because, again, this is a recession. This is what I've been using every single day. Um, I find I have to brush quite a lot off when I first use it because I don't need a lot of it. And I just lightly brush it over. And I use the end of the, this has a name, I can't remember what it's called, the end of the wand. That's it. That's my everyday makeup. This is the makeup that I have been wearing every day for a good eight weeks, most probably. Since I discovered NYX and orange eyeshadows, I've got quite a few that I've been loving recently. Let me know in the comments below what your like holy grail product is that you literally could not live without. Mine's my mascara. I love this mascara to pieces. If you enjoyed this video and us having a little chat, please give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you'd like me to do more videos like this. Or if you're like, no, I don't want to hear your voice, Cara. Let's just make it quiet and put some music over it. Thank you so much for watching. It really does mean a lot. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any more videos. Make sure you click the little bell down below as well. You'll get a notification when I do upload. I upload a, a weekly vlog every Sunday at 12pm. And the main video every Sunday at 6pm. So I will see you next week. Bye.